Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining us. This is episode one of the podcast. My name is Jeff Lascola. I'm here with my lovely wife. Kristen Lascola. <laughs> who's a big fat nerd, but that's okay. Oh, you're going to get a lot of hate mail for that comment. Yeah. So we've been married now for nine years. Coming up wow. this year. Actually, no, eight years, nine years this year. Yeah, okay. round up. It's okay. July. Uh, yeah, so it's it's flown by. It's only felt like nine months. Wow. We're going to annoy everybody. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I, why... I annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. Okay, so the reason why I wanted... And, it, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and toot my own horn because it was me who kind of spearheaded this podcast. You and have, by spearhead, <laughs> let's just be real, forced. Forced. Yeah, this is this is nap time of our uh, nineteen month old baby. So we really got to do this quick. So yeah. hopefully we'll be There's able to bang a, it There's a lot of take. workout I could be doing right now. There's a lot of reading I could. There's be doing a lot right of non reading and non working out that I could be doing. You could clean the fridge. I let's, asked you to do let's that focus like on the two days ago. Right now we've okay. already our listeners have already <laughs> dropped off. It went from two to one and now zero. So, no, the reason why I really wanted to do this podcast was because you've actually been featured on another podcast, Youth Ministry Booster. Woo! Yeah, with Shout the, out to my best friend, Zach Workin and Chad Higgins. My best friend, singular, <laughs> Zach Workin and Chad Jeff, Higgins. you know I'm bad at math. Let it go. <laughs> this is true. Uh, no, so I, I really um, feel that you have an extensive uh, resume in the field of ministry um, and I I actually kind of miss we used to be able to minister together those um, were the good days yeah and then came the children and then came children and so ruined have... everything <laughs> for more than one reason no we love them two reasons Annika and Brindley yeah <laughs> just kidding we love them we do so in the future when you're watching this we love you guys Mommy loves you, but you kind of ruined me and daddy being able to do ministry <laughs> together. It's okay. Because so, you want to know what? Life is ministry, whether you're yeah. paid or not. True. You say that sarcastically, but no, it is true. Just because it's cliche, but it is true. So I did have to, I was I was volunteering in your uh, youth ministry, Chaos, at North Coast Church Fallbrook. Yep. And then you fell in love with me, and, and watching then, me be the boss. <laughs> that's you true. We it. weren't married. I, I was a volunteer. And then you fell for me. But anyways, <laughs> that, the rest is history. But it, it was enjoyable, um, you know, being able to do ministry with you. And now I feel like this is kind of an extension of what we were able to do back then. And now during nap times, we're able to do <laughs> podcasts. So How far we've come. I know, right? This is, <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, tell us a little bit about your background. Like I said, you've been uh, doing ministry is it for 15 years. You ask me like you don't actually know is that actually true is this or are you fifth, like no, you had oh yeah i kind of had to like ham it up to me i was like, gonna oh, say and, oh. and what's your name <laughs> <laughs> where do you work but um, it's it's 15 years last year so this is actually 16 yes. years so april will be 16 years okay. on staff and then i was a volunteer for one year before that so okay. if you do my combined junior high experience it would be coming up on <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is where the math comes into play. 17. A lot of years. <laughs> 17 years. And okay. so it's been all at one church that, like you said, that's North Coast Church, which I didn't know that was such a rare thing to be at the same church for so long um, because a lot of people at North Coast just stick around. Um, so I kind of thought it was normal till I kind of looked around and saw wow people and not a bad thing it's just people um throughout their ministry career hop around um maybe nobody else <laughs> wanted to offer me anything <laughs> which is fine i'm very i like where i'm at and what is i i know you've told me this before so this is not a canned question wow. that i know the answer to Buckle but up. what is the average uh years on staff for a typical youth pastor or even a pastor in general if you know those numbers i, feel like you've told I me that. Uh, well, I don't know for like a senior pastor what that would be. The last I heard the turnover rate for a youth pastor was 18 months. My hope wow. is that that's gone up since then. But, you know, I don't know currently like in 2019 what that what that current rate was. But there is a high tur turnover rate. So, yeah, going on 17 years, um, all with middle school, wow. which 
Most people hate middle You should schoolers. be dead by now. I know. I feel dead <laughs> inside. <laughs> I'm barely hanging on. No, just kidding. I really genuinely love middle schoolers. And if someone gave me my choice of any age group to work with, like on a regular basis, I think I would choose them. You know, I joke sometimes like, oh, I think I'm serving a life sentence in middle school. But <laughs> I honestly would choose them. If they would have me, I would have them. Mm, that's sweet write that down that is so sweet middle schoolers if you're listening (laughs) they love podcasts about youth ministry yeah you're resilient for sure (laughs) well and we can get into this probably in later episodes but i'm not saying i think this is it i think this is the one and only episode (laughs) so why don't you talk a little bit about some of the things that we mostly you are going to be talking about in this podcast and on youtube for those of you who Yeah, Uh, so I think I would really love for this to feel like everyone listening or watching has a personal youth ministry coach. You know, um, we get pushed really hard, like find those mentors, find those people. And being a female in youth ministry, which, you know, um, surprise, you know, we'll get into some of that kind of content later because it inevitably comes up. But um, I didn't have mentors, you know, and I always describe my start of ministry. Like, I feel like they kind of wind, wound me up. Why did? Winded. <laughs> Wounded. <laughs> they wound me up. I'm going with that. And they just sort of let me go. Mm-hmm. And it was, um, really scary. I kind of felt like I got thrown into the deep end and that's kind of North coast style. They give you a really long, a leash and they just kind of say sink or swim it's up to you and i wanted but i mean they will help i mean it's not like they no and set you out and you know well if you fail that's it they're they would help you along the way but no of course if you kind of maybe sought out that guidance yeah and that's the thing it was just hard to find guidance as a really young female in youth ministry all of a sudden being like thrown into the deep end so I was desperate for mentors and coaches and people that would come alongside me and those people were just really hard to find for a lot of reasons and I remember subscribing to um I think it was like group magazine and like just devouring anything I could of like how to do this and get mentored you know kind of in that way and that helped me you know, add tools slowly to my tool belt. So I guess what this is going to be is, you know, um, the coach, even though we may not meet face to face, but just being that coach of like, okay, it's a new week of youth ministry. What do you need to be looking at? What do you need to be thinking about? What do you need to be praying about? What do you need to be strategizing about? Like almost like this pregame warm up for you for the week of, um, feeling like you have someone in your corner, a coach who um, is reminded, and that's what a coach does, a mentor does, is like um, gets you thinking about what's your next move, Mm -hmm. and that's what I want to be, and be accessible, you know, in that way, so. Okay. Um, I know we've talked about, you know, some of the, we're going to be doing a lot of interviews on the show too, and I I won't give away any, any, um, um, Names. Names. <laughs> uh, I was gonna I was use a much bigger word, but I should just celebrities. Stay in my lane. <laughs> celebrities. People. Um, but no, we are. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool people that we do have lined up to be on the show. Um, so those will come in later episodes. Wait, and, are you speaking about yourself? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> we have a lot of cool people. <laughs> but you're gonna be here always, co-hosting with yeah. me, right? I hope so. Until I get fired, which is probably inevitable, but that's fine too, because that means... Who would fire you? Me? I, I think I might fire myself so far. <laughs> so no, and, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, and, and, and Kristen has a lot of uh, knowledge in the industry. Um, would you call it an industry? I, I call everything an industry. He's secular, you guys. Yeah. He doesn't work in ministry, Through so bear podcast, with this podcast, I hope to accept Christ as my Lord and Savior. <laughs> So we have a lot of interviews lined up. I don't want to give away the names uh, quite yet, but we do have some really cool interviews that are lined up to uh, be on the podcast. I think you guys will really uh, enjoy all that they have to say and just hearing other voices. And I I mean, I'm I've been a volunteer in youth ministry. Well, I was 
until our own kids kicked me out. But and that became <laughs> I mean, I, I should say that became my youth ministry it was a youth ministry of two and being able. So while you were at your midweek program or, you know, Sundays and stuff, I had my own very small youth group in our two daughters. So you're such a good pastor's wife. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, amen. Proverbs 31. I'm husband. a Proverbs 31. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, thank you for joining us. We hope to be launching a new episode every week. Um, the tentative date is going to be Thursdays, so keep your eye out for those. Um, it could be coming out on YouTube and coming out on uh, our podcast. And as you can tell, we like to have fun. Um, we're not a super, I don't think, syrupy, like lovey-dovey couple. Like we have those moments, I think. But, you know, we're, we're probably not going to have those here. Our love language is humor. Definitely humor. So, and, and, and we have to be able to take... Um, Take a joke. It's a thick-skinned marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. So, um, and one of those ways I think we should have fun on the show, and that would be, you know, with some of the interviews that we're going to be doing, I really want to ask them one of three questions. We won't reveal all the questions maybe right now, and those might even change down the road, but um, one of them, I think, would be, because uh, I, I always, when I see people, I can always kind of tell, like, you look like either this person and this person combined, or this celebrity or whatever, so... Who is your doppelganger? Who do you think you will look like and who do other people say you look like? I don't know who I think I look like, but I definitely get Scarlett Johansson the vast majority of any celebrity look like. Back in the day, if you're a 90s kid, I used to get um, Jesse from Say by the Bell. Elizabeth Berkeley. Elizabeth Berkeley, because my hair is really curly. I don't yeah. wear it curly anymore, but Elizabeth Berkeley used to be and now it's turned into Scarlett Johansson, probably because I straighten my hair now. But yeah. I used to get Elizabeth Berkeley too because I had curly <laughs> hair, but I don't wear it that way now. Uh, I I always get now the Chris Daughtry, and actually I think he's at no. the point in his career. Say the real one. I don't know. Stanley Tucci. Oh God! Yeah. So <laughs> she says Stanley Tucci. St oh. Okay. A lot. <laughs> Several people yes. have said Stanley Tucci. I could see it. Um, and I get Chris Daughtry a lot too, but those are both two names. I think people are like, who the heck are you talking about? But Well, no, if you say Stanley Tucci and you say Hunger Games, the yeah. blue-haired oh, yeah, guy. The blue-haired guy in Hunger Games. So. Everybody knows who that is. Anyways, we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining From us. From Scarlett and Stanley. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for checking out this episode. We hope that it provided a ton of insight for you to create health in yourself, your ministry, and your church. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the Ministry Coach Podcast wherever you're watching or listening. And it would mean so much to us if you would rate and review this show on Apple Podcasts. And we'd also encourage you to share it with a friend so that it can go to help more people. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.